Hi there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here. Earlier this year, we released Micromod, our modular system of interchangeable processors and carrier boards designed for fast and easy prototyping and development using the M.2 standard. Now, it's been doing really well, but as is usually the case, we couldn't seem to leave well enough alone. So we started to think about this differently and approach it from a new angle. Now, what if instead of having a series of carrier boards, each with a specific singular function to which you could swap out a processor, what if instead of that, we designed a system wherein you could swap out not only the processor, but the function board itself, or even use multiple function boards? Well, that's what we've done. And laid out before me are our first half a dozen offerings. Introducing the new SparkFun Micromod mainboard single and the mainboard double, along with the Micromod ESP32 Wi-Fi function board, the Micromod DA16200 Wi-Fi function board, the Micromod environmental function board, and the Micromod LoRa function board. The foundation here are our two new main boards, the single and the double. Now, both of these boards include a USB-C connector for power and programming the processor board, plus a built-in resettable PTC fuse rated at 5 volts and 2 amps. A QP73061C 3.3 volt voltage regulator rated at 1 amp keeps your voltage input right where it needs to be. They have a two-wire JST connector to allow your project to go untethered by using a single-cell LiPo battery and an integrated LiPo charging circuit with adjustable charge rates of 100, 166, or 500 milliamps, selectable via the dip switch there. There's an M.2 connector for one Micromod processor board, plus either one or two M.2 connectors for Micromod function boards. They've also got a pair of quick connectors for adding I2C components, a Micromod SD socket to allow you to log and save your data to a memory card, and for advanced users, we've broken out the SWD 2x5 header. They both have a pair of buttons for boot and reset, and three LEDs to show VIN, 3.3 volt, and charge status. Both boards have five jumpers. The MEIS jumper can be used to measure your system's current consumption. The PTC jumper can allow advanced users to bypass the resettable PTC fuse to pull more than two amps from the USB source. Closing the 3.3 volt EN jumper enables processor control of the 3.3 volt bus. The VIN LED jumper can be cut to disable the LED connected to the input of the USB source, and the 3.3V LED jumper connected to the output of the 3.3 volt regulator can be cut to disable that LED. Included only on the double main board are two 1x3 male headers with two pin jumper shunts to enable a 3.3 volt voltage regulator for any function board connected to function 0 and function 1 using alternative processor GPIO pins. Now, both of these main boards can use any of our Micromod processor boards, so take your pick there. As far as function boards, we've currently got four in this release with more on the way, so let's take a look what we have here. Let's start with the Micromod environmental sensor board. Now, this board combines three of Sensirion's high-quality sensors. First, the SGP40, which measures the quality of the air in your place. It uses a metal oxide sensor with a temperature-controlled micro-hot plate to provide a humidity-compensated volatile organic compound-based indoor air quality signal. Second is the SHTC3 Digital Humidity and Temperature Sensor. Now, this sensor has a relative humidity range from 0 to 100% and a measurable temperature range from negative 40 degrees to 125 degrees Celsius. That's negative 40 to 257 degrees Fahrenheit for those of you watching in the US, Liberia, or the Cayman Islands. It's also one of the more highly accurate sensors available today, with accuracy of plus or minus 2% relative humidity and plus or minus 0.2 degrees Celsius. Thirdly, we have the STC31 sensor, which measures CO2 concentrations based on thermal conductivity and has two CO2 measurement ranges, either 0 to 25 vol percent or 0 to 100 vol percent. The measurement repeatability is 0.2 vol percent with a stability of 0.025 vol percent per degree Celsius. The outstanding performance of these three sensors is based on Sensirion's patented CMO Sense technology, which combines the sensor element, signal processing, and digital calibration on a small CMOS chip. Next, we have the Micromod LoRa function board. This board uses a 1 watt 915M30S LoRa module from eByte. Based on the SX1276 chipset from Semtech, it offers a frequency range from 900 to 931 MHz, with transmit power from 28.5 to 30 dBm. Modulation options include LoRa, FSK, GFSK, MSK, GMSK, and OOK, with FSK data rates from 1.2 to 300 kilobytes per second, and LoRa data rates from 0.018 to 37.5 kilobytes per second. 
We've put a robust edge mount RPSMA connector for large LoRa antennas, but if you prefer, with slight modification, you can use the U.FL connector instead. We've also got a pair of Wi-Fi function boards, the ESP32 Wi-Fi function board and the DA16200 Wi-Fi function board. The Micromod ESP32 function board takes advantage of Espressif's ESP32 room to add Wi-Fi and Bluetooth to your projects. At its core is the ESP32 D0WD V3 chip, designed to be both scalable and adaptive. The board features 16 megabytes of flash memory, 520K of internal SRAM, an integrated 802.11 BGN Wi-Fi transceiver, and dual-mode Bluetooth capabilities. It comes pre-flashed with AT Command firmware and acts as a serial-to-Wi-Fi gateway. We've also put a USB-C connector and USB-to-serial converter on this function board, so that if you're so inclined, you can add your own set of AT commands or flash custom firmware onto this ESP32. The Micromod DA16200 Wi-Fi function board gives you a fully integrated Wi-Fi module with a 40 MHz crystal oscillator, 32.768 kHz RTC, lumped RF filter, 4 MB of flash, and an onboard chip antenna. The Wi-Fi processor allows for IEEE 802.11 BGN 1X 20 MHz channel bandwidth at 2.4 GHz, plus IEEE 802.11S Wi-Fi mesh, and Wi-Fi security options to use WPA or WPA2 Enterprise or Personal, WPA2 SI, WPA3 SAE, and OWE. It also has three ultra-low power sleep modes, with current draws as low as somewhere in the neighborhood of 0.2 to 3.5 microamps, making this function board perfect for home IoT projects. Additionally, the DA16200 module certified Wi-Fi alliance for IEEE 802.11 BGN, Wi-Fi Direct, and WPS functionalities means that it's been improved for use by multiple countries, and using the Wi-Fi alliance transfer policy, each Wi-Fi certification can be transferred without being tested again. Now, if you're already familiar with our Micromod system, then you know that its ease and simplicity come from our utilization of the M.2 standard. All of our current carrier boards have an M.2 connector for the processor board. Now, say you've got a project and you're using an Artemis processor, but you decide that it would be better served by an RP2040 processor. Well, it's simple to just pop out the old, pop in the new. Well, with our main boards, we've just taken that concept one step further. Now that all of our what would have been carrier boards are becoming function boards, you can easily pop those in and out just as easily as you would a processor board. All right, say I want to measure the temperature. Well, I've got my main board and I happen to have an Artemis processor board handy. All I do is pop that into the M.2 connector. And because it's M.2, I can't put it in incorrectly. Then I'll take my environmental sensor board and just like the processor board, pop that into its M.2 slot upload a little bit of code, which I don't even have to write myself because we have examples, make sure that my board definition is set to Spark Fun Artemis Micromod, upload the code, get results. It's that easy. But maybe just seeing the results from a sensor that's arm's length away from your screen isn't satisfying, isn't what you need. Maybe you want to know what the temperature is at the other end of your house. Well, that's easy. If you're using the main board double, pop in the Wi-Fi function board. Quick code adjustment, and now you know what's going on over there. But maybe even that's not far enough. What if, what if I want to know environmentally what's going on out in my barn, which would be like half a mile away if I actually had a barn? Easy again, pop out the Wi-Fi function board, pop in the LoRa function board, another quick code adjustment, and Bob's your uncle. This system is not meant to replace our current Micromod system. That's perfect for so many uses. But if your project is still fluid, still growing, you're not quite sure what the end result is going to be, and you want the option to swap out both processors and function boards, then our new main boards are going to be exactly what you want. So take a look at the new SparkFun Micromod main board single and the main board double, the Micromod ESP32 Wi-Fi function board, the Micromod DA16200 Wi-Fi function board, the Micromod environmental function board, and the Micromod LoRa function board, and just know that we've got more function boards coming in the near future. You can pick them all up over at sparkfun.com. And of course, stay safe, be kind, and happy hacking. As is usually the case, as is usually the case, M.2 connector on the back to allow you or the front or someplace <clears throat> has an M.2 connector for the processor board. ESP Wi-Fi function board? Ah, ESP32 Wi-Fi function board. And I, I kind of screwed up the word function at some point in there, so. Okay. Each with a singular specific function 
to which, ah, it was because I'm using the main double board, main board double, double main board. I was like two sentences away from yeah, saying were, goodbye. Yeah, you were. Ah. Man, throwing still fluid. You're not exact, and you're not exactly sure what the end result is gonna be. Like me, clearly, with this script. <laughs>